Hello, everybody. My name is Buzzer. And I'm Sparky. Get ready for fun, because you've just joined the, the Bed Bug Bible, Bible Gang. Gang. We are the bed bugs and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the bed bugs and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the bed bugs. And we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the bed bugs. And we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. One, two, three. We are the bed bugs and we like to pray and praise and eat meringue. And if you like the song we sang, you're in the bed bug Bible gang. Gang, ding, 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 ding. Buzzer, what's today's show about? I'm glad you asked, Sparky. Today's show is all about Abraham. Abraham? Who's he? He's who our show is all about, Sparky. So, I'm just going to have to watch, Buzzer? <laughs> That's right, Sparky. Our first story, all about Abraham, is called Abram's Big Move. Abram lived so far away in a green and fertile land. Abram cares for sheep all day. <laughs> He's a loving family man. This place is beautiful. Abraham sure likes it. One day, as he walked about with his flock across the range, Abram heard a voice call out. Abram thought that this was strange. Who's that talking? I didn't hear anything. Abram, Abram, said the voice. I have got a gift for you. Follow me if that's your choice. I will bless you if you do. Follow who? Follow where? What do you think Abram did when he heard this strange voice call? I will follow. Abram said. He was not afraid at all. But where are we going? Abram doesn't care about where. You may think that it was odd. Who's the voice that Abram hears? Abram knew the voice was God. That is why he did not fear. Oh, it's God! So that's what God sounds like. God told him, it's time to go from this valley green and grand. I will lead you to and fro, far across the desert sand. Leave this land? But I like it here. Abram left that very day, his wife Sarah by his side. They knew they would be okay. They knew God would be their guide. God won't steer us wrong. God's a good guide. Off they walked for days and nights sometimes slow and sometimes fast. Soon they saw a super sight. They'd found their new home at last. Whoa, is it ever nice here? It's the promised land. Abram, Abram, says the Lord. You have followed faithfully. Here's your gift, just as you heard. All the land that you can see. What a great gift. I see a lot of land. Abram said a prayer that day, and he thanked the Lord above. God blessed Abram every day with new land, long life, and love. God kept the promise. God promised to love us too. Thank you, God. That Abraham story was sensational. Abraham followed God faithfully every day of his life. And he showed us how we can follow faithfully, too. Let's sing a song about faithful Abraham. Dear Abram was old, so the story's been told, and he lived in a beautiful home. But while leading his herd, Abram heard God's own word. That's when God told old Abram to roam. Home, home, far away. That's the promise he heard the Lord say. As soon as he heard, he believed in God's word, and he followed the Lord every day. Dear Abram moved out, and he wandered about. He did everything God said to do. At the end of his roam was a perfect new home. Now he knows that God's promise is true. Home, home far away 
That's the promise he heard the Lord say. And as soon as he heard, he believed in God's word, and he followed the Lord from that day. Home, home far away, that's the promise we hear the Lord say. And as soon as we've heard, we believe in God's word, and we follow the Lord every day. Sing along! Dear Abram was old, so the story's been told, and he lived in a beautiful home. But while leading his herd, Abram heard God's own word, that's when God told old Abram to roam. That's a promise he heard the Lord say. And as soon as he heard, he believed in God's word, and he followed the Lord every day. Dear Abram moved out, and he wandered about. He did everything God said to do. At the end of his roam was a perfect new home. Now he knows that God's promise is true. That's a promise he heard the Lord say. And as soon as he heard, he believed in God's word, and he followed the Lord from that day. Home, home far away. That's a promise we hear the Lord say. And as soon as we've heard, we believe in God's word, and we follow the Lord every day. Good job. Hey, Sparky. How did you like our Abraham song? It made me want to get up and move! Well, let's move on to a great game about Abraham's move. Marvelous! Can you help me match up the pictures from Abraham's big move? We can start with this picture of Abraham. Where is his match? There's the matching picture of Abraham. Good job! Now find the match for this picture of Abraham's sheep. You found it! The matching sheep is right over here. Now look for the matching picture of Sarah, Abraham's wife. All right! You found the matching picture of Sarah right here. Can you see the match for this desert plant? Yup, that plant's prickly matches right here. Just one match to find. Where is the match for this promised land picture? <laughs> That's it. You found all the matches. Way to go, gang. Sparky, how do you like our Abraham episode so far? I really like it, Buzzer. Do you like it a lot? I sure do, Buzzer. I like it lots and lots. Then you'll want to pay close attention to our next story. It's called Pillar of Salt. Old Abraham liked Lot a lot. He gave Lot half of all he got. It makes some sense that this was so. Lot was his nephew, don't you know? Abraham's nephew is named Lot. Lot took his half and moved away. Hey, thanks a lot, we hear him say. Old Abraham bid Lot farewell. What happened next is sad to tell. Uh-oh, what happened? Lot moved to sneaky Sodom town, where people sinned and made God frown. Lot liked the sneaky sinful life. He liked it lots. So did Lot's wife. I don't like this place. It looks like Lot does. But God did not like this one bit. God said, that town has got to get. God came to Abraham one day and said, I'll burn that town away. God does not sound happy. Will God really burn that town? But Abraham knew Lot was there. He said to God, please God, be fair. If 10 good townsfolk can be found, then do not knock that town on down. I'm sure that some nice people live there. There must be ten at least. God gave this promise. If I find ten friendly folks, I'll change my mind. 
And even if those ten are not, I promise that I'll rescue Lot. God promised to save Lot. God always keeps promises. God sent two angels into town, but not one nice townsfolk was found. They got to Lot's house right away and said, let's leave without delay. Hurry up, Lot's got to go. They left without a pan or pot, just angels, daughters, wife, and Lot. Do not look back, the angels said, but Lot's poor wife just turned her head. Don't turn around, she just did. She missed that sneaky Sodom spot. As you'll recall, she liked it lots. And since she could not turn away, God turned her into salt that day. What a sad story. She should have listened to God. So sneaky Sodom now is gone. God saved Lot from that sneaky town. Lot's safe with Abraham once more. They have lots to be thankful for. God saved Lot. God kept the promise. Thanks a lot, God. Buzzer, that pillar of salt story was sort of sad. It was sad, Sparky, but the good news is that Jesus saves us from our sin, just like God saved Lot from sneaky Sodom. Just keep your eyes on Jesus and he'll lead the way. Oh, that's not sad at all, Buzzer. <laughs> not at all, Sparky. Thank you, Jesus. Look at all these pictures from the Pillar of Salt story. Which picture is different from all the others? Let's start with this picture of Lot. Which picture is different? You got it! That Lot is not like the others at all. Now, look at this picture of Sneaky Sodom. Which city scene is different? That's it! This Sneaky City is not the same. Look at this picture of Abraham. Which one does not match? Right again, this picture of Abraham is a little bit different. Now, take a look at this picture of God's angel. Which one is different? Awesome, that angel is not the same. Just one more. Which pillar of salt is not the same as the others? You found it! That's all the mismatched pictures. Great job, gang! Way to go, gang! You weren't tricked by any of those sneaky city scenes. That game was a lot of fun, Buzzer. <laughs> Get it? A lot of fun? <laughs> sparky, sparky, sparky. <laughs> Do -do -do. And now, I'm proud to present the Bed Bug Bundalures with their latest, greatest hit, the Bed Bug Balloon! Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. What a beautiful day ah, 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 ah. to go up and away. Ah, 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 ah. The air is cool and the sky is blue, don't you? And we'll go for a ride We both will leave the ground below Hey, it's easy Go where the wind will blow Hey, it's breezy Spending the afternoon In a bed bug balloon In a bed bug balloon It's a beautiful time See how high we can climb we go floating through the sky We see dandy clouds all drifting by Cotton candy, good thing we brought a spoon In the bed bug balloon In the bed bug balloon Nearly nothing to do But to look at the view Just look right down, what do you see? Little people waving back Near a steeple singing a happy tune To the bed bug balloon ah, 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 ah. To the bed bug balloon ah, 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 ah. We take a float in the breeze To places only the eagle 
little saw. Look at the trees like we have never seen before. Flying with these, there's nothing more I can think of to do. Riding high in the air, we could go anywhere. We see the sun is setting down. It's a nice glow. Where are we sailing now? We can still go higher to touch the moon. In our bed bug balloon, it's a beautiful sight, sailing on through the night. The stars are shining in outer space. Time to go back. What an amazing place! But you know that we'll go again real soon. In our bed bug balloon, in our bed bug balloon. In our bed bug balloon. In our bed bug balloon. Thank you, Bandoliers. You've given us time for one more story about Abraham and his son, Isaac. Abraham and Isaac, huh? What's the story called? It's called Abraham and Isaac. Aha! Uh -huh. And why is it called that? Let's just watch the story, Sparky. So without further ado, Abraham and Isaac. Abraham's a patient man. He waited years and years on end for a son to call his own, just as the Lord had promised him. Abraham is very old. He's very patient, too. Abraham's a happy man. His baby boy is born at last. Isaac is the baby's name. See how the child is growing fast? It's a baby! Boy, oh boy! Abraham's a loving man. He loves his wife. He loves his son. He loves God the most of all. He'll do whatever God wants done. Abraham always obeys God. No matter what. Abraham's a listening man. God tells him just what he must do. Sacrifice your son to me. That's what God said. Could it be true? What did God say? There must be a mistake. Abraham's a faithful man. He does just as the Lord has asked. He takes Isaac up a hill and gathers wood to do the task. Why is Abraham doing this? It's what God said to do. Abraham's an honest man, though he feels very sad inside. Isaac asks him, where's the lamb? He tells his son, God will provide. Poor Isaac. Poor Abraham. Abraham's a worried man. He builds an altar to the Lord. Isaac lies upon the wood, and Abraham picks up a sword. I can't look. This is terrible. Abraham's a frightened man. An angel grabs him by the arm. Abraham, put down your sword. Untie your son and do no harm. What? What happened? What? It's an angel. It's an angel. Abraham's a joyful man with hugs and kisses for his son. God is happy, Abraham. God tested you, and you have won. God gave Abraham a test. God knows Abraham would do anything. Abraham's a righteous man. That means that God believes in him. When you follow God's commands, then you and God are best of friends. I'll always follow God. God's my best buddy. The bedbugs love to share the good news that God is your very best friend. God has promised to give us great things, like a life forever in heaven. So we should always follow God's commands the best that we can, just like Abraham. I like to do the things God wants me to do, Buzzer. That's awesome, Sparky. Almost as awesome as God. Now you can sing a song about the Abraham and Isaac story. It's easy if you follow along. There was an old person who had a young son. Isn't it fun to have a young son? But what's to come? There was an old person who listened to God. He heard something odd when he listened to God. He listened to God about the son. Isn't it fun to have a young son? But what's to come? 
There was an old person who climbed up a hill. He followed God's will and climbed up a hill. He climbed up a hill when he listened to God. He listened to God about the sun. Isn't it fun to have a young son? But what's to come? There was an old person who tied up the lad. It's so very sad to tie up the lad. He tied up the lad upon the hill. He climbed up a hill when he listened to God. He listened to God about the sun. Isn't it fun to have a young son? But what's to come? There was an old person whose hand will drop. But God said stop. Sing along. There was an old person who had a young son. Isn't it fun to have a young son? But what's to come? There was an old person who listened to God. He heard something odd when he listened to God. He listened to God about the sun. Isn't it fun to have a young son? But what's to come? There was an old person who climbed up a hill. He followed God's will and climbed up a hill. He climbed up a hill when he listened to God. He listened to God about the sun. Isn't it fun to have a young son? But what's to come? There was an old person who tied up the lad. It's so very sad to tie up the lad. He tied up the lad upon the hill. He climbed up the hill when he listened to God. He listened to God about the sun. Isn't it fun to have a young son? But what's to come? There was an old person whose hand will drop. But God said stop. That Abraham and Isaac song was incredible. You followed fantastically. Can you find five sheep hidden in this picture of Abraham and Isaac? Look closely and find our missing flock. <laughs> There's a sheep hidden in the bushes. Keep looking, gang. <laughs> you found one high upon a hill. Can you see any others? <laughs> That's it. You found a sheep in that far off field. You're doing great. Hey, you found a fourth sheep, right by Isaac's feet. Just one more to find. <laughs> you found it. That last sheep was really hiding well. You found them all. Great job. That's all the time we have for today, gang. We hope you had fun, and we hope to see you again real soon. And always remember that Jesus loves you very much. Bye-bye.